Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about, um, well, let's say everything. Well, by everything, I guess I mean all of the, the major meeting platforms. So specifically WebEx, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google. And what I wanna talk about is, is quite simply something that I experience very often and a lot of the customers and partners I'm talking to um, are also experiencing. And that is that in a given day, uh, they may oftentimes find themselves uh, joining multiple platforms. Uh, sometimes you'll have one meeting on WebEx, the next meeting's on Zoom, uh, and then uh, the next day or later in the week, you have a, a Microsoft Teams meeting or a Google Meet meeting. Um, but what's definitely becoming uh, very commonplace is that uh, more and more we're seeing people that are needing to interoperate or to be able to join on multiple platforms. And for me, it's always been very easy because of the work that we've done with uh, WebEx devices and the WebEx cloud. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of a simple illustration today. And I just wanna show you a little bit of the difference between what you get with a WebEx device and a, um, uh, in this case, we're gonna do a, a Microsoft Teams room on Android. Um, so let me go ahead and show you, I'm gonna drop here to another camera view. Now, apologies, this camera view is not great. Uh, it's a little bit hard to read. But what I have here is a uh, neat bar registered to Microsoft Teams. This is a Microsoft Teams room on Android. I also have uh, one of our devices and side by side, I've got the, the screens here showing you uh, essentially what's going on. Now in both of these, you're gonna see on the left, which is the Microsoft Teams room, you do see that we have listed there a WebEx meeting, a Microsoft Teams meeting and a Zoom meeting. What you don't see up there is there's actually a, another one as well, and it's a, a Google meeting, but I'll show you on the, the touchpad uh, in a second. On the right-hand side, you see my uh, WebEx device, and you see the WebEx meeting. You see the same Microsoft Teams meeting, the Zoom meeting, and it does tell you you have one ongoing uh, or uh, one more ongoing meeting, uh, and that's the Google uh, meeting, which I'll show you on our uh, navigator as well. So at first glance, you know both platforms are going to show the meetings that you have for the day, um, both of these are registered, uh, you know, in my name, uh, and you know, it gives you the times, it tells you who's organized by. Uh, it's a great you know, visual to see what you have going on. But where things really begin to differ is when it comes to what am I going to do with these meetings now that I know that they're there. So I'm going to switch my view again, and here I've got a, um, a navigator on the left, and I have a uh, neat pad on the right. Now off the bat, there's one kind of blurring difference here, and that's uh, you know, with, with each of them, you do have the ability to hit this, this one button to push or join button. On the left here, you see I've got my WebEx meeting, I've got my Microsoft Teams meeting, I've got my Zoom meeting. Over here on my NeatPad, I have those same three meetings, but if you'll notice, there's only one that I'm able to join. And that's because I can't join a WebEx meeting on this uh, device. I cannot join a Zoom meeting on this device. So while it's great that I have this information here, I'm gonna to have to do something else or, or find some other way to be able to join my meeting for the day. Whereas on my WebEx device, I see all of my join buttons and I can go into each of those meetings respectively just by hitting the one button to push. Now I'm gonna bring this up here so I can show you the rest of my calendar. So again, here you see a pretty good view of all four meeting platforms. So I've got a WebEx meeting, Microsoft, Zoom, and Google Meet, and they all have join buttons where I can join from my device. Over here on the Microsoft side, I have these. And again, you see that we only have the Microsoft Teams meeting. And just to show you that I have that same meeting down here, we have the Google Meet meeting down here. And uh, again, no way to join. So why is this important? Well, quite simply put, um, you can't really join on any other uh, platform except for uh, WebEx devices when it comes to you know, interoperability in multiple platforms. So. Um, definitely consider it. On top of that, we also have the ability to do the USB pass-through. So even if it's some other vendor that's not standard or uses some other platform or, um, uh, you know, example, uh, Facebook video or even FaceTime, um, all you have to do is use the USB pass-through and you can still use our device uh, with the same high quality audio uh, and video uh, and presentation that you uh, expect from our devices. So again, I hope this is helpful to you and I just kind of wanted to show a good visual as to what we talk about when we talk about how uh, WebEx is one of the, the best open platforms to be able to allow you to interoperate in your day-to-day -day meetings. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on what I set up here or uh, how we did this, just uh, comment below or reach out to me on WebEx. Have a great day.